Hey guys, so today is Tuesday. I just got done filming. That's why I got all this glam going on right now. I'm actually about to start dinner because I'm starving. I think we're gonna do tacos because Taco Tuesday. And I have a couple packages here that I got from Amazon that I'm super excited about. I've been ordering a lot on Amazon because I've been watching those TikTok videos of like Amazon things you need, part 54. So I've been ordering a lot on there. I wanna do another Amazon uh, video and I'm so excited because I got a lot of really good stuff. Some stuff based on TikTok recommendations, other stuff I was just like browsing and I was like, you know what? This is amazing, I need it in my life. So first I just got a detangler brush because I need a new brush. Apparently you're supposed to switch out your brushes. I never really switch out my brushes to be honest, like my hair brushes. I just, I mean, I don't even really clean them, which is Honestly, really gross when you think about it. But I just decided to get another one. And then I got this vacuum suction beauty device. And I want to try this out with Hector for our blackheads on our nose and our chin. I mean, the reviews on this thing were sick. Like, there's people who, like, sick in a good way. People were showing pictures of stuff that comes out of their skin when using this. So I was like, um, yeah, I need that. Because I have, like, a million and one blackheads all over my face like you guys always say I have perfect skin which thank you so much but I promise you I don't have perfect skin like I have a ton of texture a ton of blackheads so it has to come out so I'm excited to use that and I got a bunch of other stuff but I'm not gonna show everything cuz I want to save it for another Amazon video but these are two things that I got and I also got two or actually four shelves I thought it was only two and it's actually a pack of four. There are these shelves that I actually got to put my skincare in the bathroom because we don't have a ton of storage upstairs. So I got those and I'm going to tell Hector to put those up later on. He's actually in the back uh, raking some leaves, doing some yard work right now. But I'm going to tell him to put those up later because I need more storage. Let's creep on Hector for a minute. <laughs> He's right there. <sighs> Love that. We have a ton of leaves. The yard in general needs to be cleaned up and he's been working on it trying to find Bernard and I'm like where could he be here he is <laughs> what are you doing fat boy he loves it down here because this couch was at my dad's and it was like his favorite this is what he slept on he honestly just loves couches in general whenever we can't find him he's either on our bed or on the couch what are you doing come on you have to eat soon so I haven't been able to find the Gardein meatless meat anywhere. It's like sold out at Walmart, all of our local grocery stores. So I got this actually a few weeks back and we made the tacos with this meat and it was pretty good. It's not as good as the Gardein, but it's all we can find for now. So I'm gonna do the tacos again with this meat and we just get the Mexican flavor. They also do have a regular flavor and I believe another like Chipotle flavor, but this one's really good. It kind of tastes like the taco seasoning mix a little bit, but I still add my own just to give it some more flavor. I showed you guys how to make these before. They're super easy. I just have some olive oil, minced garlic, chopped white onion. I usually do red and yellow peppers in here, but I don't have any right now, but it gives the taco meat some good flavor as well. But for now, we're just gonna have to make it work with garlic and onions, which is still gonna be really good. This is what the meat looks like. It looks disgusting, but once you have it in here, I promise it tastes better than it looks. Bam, just like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this and then the seasonings and then honestly, that's pretty much it. Obviously it's not real meat so you don't have to let it cook for a very long time. Okay, I added the second pack of quote unquote meat. I also added a little bit of water in here. I feel like the water just makes the meat a little bit like juicier and then when you add the seasonings, it's just better. That way it's not so dry. So I just do a little bit. The olive oil also helps as well. And then that's honestly pretty much it. I'm just gonna let this come to like a little bit of a simmer for like seven minutes or so. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put the lid on and that's it. It's like the easiest dinner ever. For my tortilla today, I'm actually gonna use these. You, these are really good for like wraps or like quesadillas. And these are the car balance one, the spinach and herb. And I think I'm gonna do one of those and then one of these that I have just to use it up because we only have one left. But these are the plant powered ones. Three grams of net carbs. I think they're actually both three grams of net carbs, yeah. This one's 70 calories, this one's 60 calories, but these are really good, they're super soft. You can get them at Walmart. So I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna add some shredded lettuce, some cheese, some guacamole, you know the drill. Now it's looking much better. I added my seasonings, my sazon, adobo, the taco mix, so good. So I pretty much just leave it here on the stove top just so that it stays hot. 
at like very low heat. And that's pretty much it. Oh, my baby, he's sunbathing. It's so beautiful out today. So now in the meantime, I'm just gonna edit and get this video done today, hopefully. Hopefully it turned out good, I don't even know. I haven't even like really looked at the footage. So let's cross our hands, cross our fingers <laughs> that it turned out good. So I just got to my dad's house actually. I'm about to film a video so that I have it ready for tomorrow. Oh gosh, these glasses are so dirty. I wonder if you can see them. There's like a big glare on them. But um, yeah, I'm about to film that. I'm actually moving my beauty room officially, finally, this weekend over to the new house. I know it took a while, but we're doing it. My office is all ready, it's all painted, so we're ready to go. So yeah, I'm about to head inside, do my makeup real quick and start I'm so excited. I just got a package from Glossier. I actually ordered this myself, but I'm gonna be doing a full face of Glossier. I did a full face of milk makeup and a lot of you guys really seem to enjoy it. So Glossier is next. I'm probably gonna do that maybe like this weekend or sometime next week it'll be up. I've never tried anything from this brand. I actually bought my cousin's stuff from Glossier around Christmas and their shipping is really fast. I mean, I did pay for fast shipping, but I literally ordered this stuff yesterday and it's here today. Like it's crazy, less than 24 hours. So I love how everything is packaged, super cute. Let's see what some of the stuff looks like. So this is a cloud paint. Oh, my nails are so gross. I never put on my press-ons because I, like, as much as I don't like my natural nails, I like having natural nails because I just feel so free. Anyways, um, we have a cloud paint here, which is like a cream blush, brow products. What is this? Sheer matte lipstick. This is one of their most popular products. They're cloud paints. These are like cream blushes, which I never use. So this is gonna be a really interesting video because it's really gonna challenge me. This makeup is completely different than anything that I ever use and like how I do my makeup. Glossier is basically for like people who like really natural makeup. So I'm curious to see how I'm gonna like a lot of these products. And this is another very popular product, the Boy Brow. I love a good tinted brow gel. I heard this is really, really good. This is their other super popular product, their Brow Flick. So let me know down below if you guys have tried Glossier. What are your favorites? What are your thoughts? I think the brand is cute, packaging is cute. All right, just got done filming. I am so hungry, my stomach was growling the whole time, so I'm gonna go to the house now and go eat something and probably start editing this video. I'm gonna see how the weather, how it feels outside. I haven't been outside since earlier, but it, it looks really nice out. I kinda wanna go to the park with Bernard because we've been you know, in the house all the time. Well, I've been in the house because Hector leaves the house obviously to go to work and stuff, but I've been cooped up, so I feel like I need some fresh air. We take him on walks and stuff in the evenings, but I need like, something different today. I feel like I'm going crazy. But um, I also just made a TikTok. Well, I made my account a few months back and I started posting videos on it recently and it they're very cringy, I will admit. Um, I feel like TikTok in general, some of the stuff on there can be cringy, but yeah, follow me if you want. If not, I get it because it's cringy. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go home now because I'm hungry, so. Let's go get some food. Okay, I got some more stuff from Amazon. I did sanitize everything. I sprayed it and wiped it down, but I got these for our pantry. It's just a large pocket over the door organizer. I actually saw Casey Holmes doing something like this a while back in one of her vlogs. And normally things like this, I mean, these specifically are for, yeah, this one is a pantry organizer specifically, but you could even use like an over the door, like shoe organizer to put like your seasonings or like, you know, ketchup, things like that. So I'm about to put this up now to organize our stuff. Okay, I haven't been this happy about a purchase in a very long time. This is what it looks like. So it actually came with the three hooks. You just literally hook it right onto the door and we just have some seasonings and just like little random stuff in here. I love it. And then now we have so much more space in the pantry for other stuff and it's like easier to see that little bucket there is for Bernard and all of his stuff but um yeah I love this definitely recommend it I will link this for you guys if you're looking for ways to like organize a little bit better this is genius I don't know why I didn't do this before but I am obsessed and I'm gonna show you guys the other one that I got and this is where we keep more of our cleaning supplies candles soaps things like that but I decided to use the other organizer here to keep some extra things band-aids more plug-ins poo spray for the bathroom and just like you know more essentials but i really love these really great way to like store everything and be able to see everything as well okay another amazing amazon find this to store your keys i love how you can put it right in the closet 
So this is our coat closet. So right when we're heading out, we can just grab our keys. You could put like mail or your ID, wallet, anything important in there. So it's like you grab and go. I like how it's not out on display because I just wanted it to be hidden in the closet. So this is perfect. It came with two screws and it was super easy to put right on the door. So yeah, check it out. Now I have to organize all of this random skincare and stuff that I have. A lot of these things I forgot that I had. So that's why I wanted to buy these shelves so that I can display everything and I can have all of my masks and different stuff out. So I will also link these down below. Perfect for skincare or just hair products, anything. We just screwed them right on. The wall they come with the screws you just need obviously like a screwdriver and all that stuff but love it so let's put all this stuff on okay i'm in love with these shelves they are perfect for skincare and hair products and now i actually know what i have it's like a lot of these products i forgot that i had them because they were under the sink so this definitely inspires me to have a pamper night because i have all my products on display so then i won't have to worry about them expiring because i can actually like go through every month and use up what i have so love these and i love the fact that you get four so Check them out if you wanna organize your space. I think this is great, that way your products don't get lost under the sink. And then this I also got from Amazon a while back and I actually had my perfumes and stuff stored in here but now I keep more skincare essentials, like more everyday things that I use, deodorant, neck cream, SPF, charcoal powder for my teeth, my eye creams, just like, you know, everyday things. So this I also love, so I will also link this down below because it's a really great way to organize your products, that way they're not scattered all over your countertops or your bathroom countertops. <laughs> okay, another Amazon find. <laughs> so I actually just got this, Hector put this together for me as well, and I love it because one, it matches, and two, it fits perfectly in this little spot right here, but basically, I need more storage so our vanity like unfortunately these don't pull out so we don't have those four drawers right there for storage so you know I'm the one with all this stuff so I wanted to get this just so that I don't have to put too much stuff under the sink or on top of the bathroom countertop so I can just put like extra stuff in here I just added a couple random like soaps and my hairbrush and just you know, extra things. So I really like this. It's simple, but it's like exactly what I was looking for and it wasn't too much. It was like, I think 40, $45 around there. And it also comes in white and that white one is actually like $25. So it's cheaper, but I wanted to get the dark obviously because it matches much better than the white. But I love this. I will link everything that I'm talking about down below if you guys wanna check it out, but I'm very happy with that purchase. It is cheap. So when you're putting like the nails in and stuff, just be mindful because the wood can crack really easily. It kind of cracked in the inside a little bit, but I mean, you can't really see it. It's fine, but yeah, just be careful whenever you're assembling this because it's a cheap piece. It's not real wood. So something to keep in mind, but I like it. So we bought some LED lights so that when we're watching movies or shows down here, it just like, you know, sets the vibe. And there's an app for it, apparently. It's set on the reviews so you can like change the lights and everything. Oh, we're gonna have to get that. I don't know. You can change like the colors. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay. See, cause it comes with, yeah, this thing. So there's just an adhesive on the back and then you just stick them right on the back of the TV. Did it come with alcohol wipes? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Wipe yeah. off the dust on the TV. Love that. Okay, we got them on. Oh, they look nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I got the app. So let's see if I can change it. Wait, is that doing anything? Making it brighter? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's so cool. It is. Oh, and you can change, like, the color of them. So let's try red. Oh, shoot. There it goes. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm dead. Let's do orange. I like that. That's oh, nice. wow. Blue. Oh, the blue's nice. Yeah, I like the blue, too. White. Green. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What? The green is nice too. Yeah, I like the green. I like the purple the best though. Yeah. The green's really bright. It's like super bright. Well, you can dim it on here too. See? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to be playing with this all night. Mm -hmm. Purple's still my fave. Oh, and I think you can change it. Like You can make it more like pink. <gasps> yeah. 
I like that. Love. Shout out to Amazon. And these were like super cheap. They were like, I think like 14, 15 bucks. So, love it. So time to watch All American because we never finished it. So we're about to watch that. Mm -hmm. 